I think I'm live. Let's see. Orientation is locked. Rotate. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, I'm going to have to try to do it this way. So I don't know. Anyway, uh, get, if, you're, if you're not new here, you know that I just need a couple minutes to set it up. Uh, and now uh, this is going to be weird because normally I hang. I'm going to try to do it from outside even though it's kind of wet. It's kind of wet. Today. Oh, no. Here's going to be my special guest today. Oh, oh hey my. Guys. So oh. so I'm going to set it up. And he's holding Shao Dofu. And I, you know what? Shao Dofu had a little bit of a fever last night. So he's not, he's not a happy, super happy today. So that's too bad. Okay, I don't even know how I'm going to do this. Because apparently... Like normally I do it <laughs> kind of upside down, but now I've got my a chair. I put a chair here. So I, oh, I don't know if this is even gonna work. Oh, oh, you know what? Let me try this. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe this will work. Okay, I'm moving the chair around. No, I need something to uh, stick underneath the phone. Hey, hey, here's what, here's Ross. He's Hi. just uh, having his morning. I saw you struggling, so I came to Oh, yeah, help well, with you know what? Stuff. If you can give me a couple, like, tissues, yeah. I need to stick something in the back. Thank you. Wow. Ross is such a great guy. He's helping me. Oh, he's helping me set up my live stream. That is so cool. So I, we're going we're gonna to have him on again. The wedding is tomorrow, and so it's a big day of preparation. Thank you. And we're switching hotels. So, yeah, a couple more, I think. So we're going to switch hotels. Oh, yeah, this is so cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's oh, amazing. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So we're switching hotels, and uh, but this hotel has been great. If you've watched some of the live streams, you've seen how cool this is. But uh, it's a little bit wet, but I'm gonna sacrifice. Oh, well, there's Jay, and there's little Shao Dofu. Yeah, Evan, come on in. And uh, I think Bing Bing's gonna join us a little bit later. It's so fun. Uh, having guests on the live stream. Okay, so I gotta make room for him. Okay. Sorry, I just had to hand over a room here real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Evan hey. from Denmark, from Evan and Bing Bing. Thank you wow. very much. <laughs> okay, he's from Borneo, Malaysia. My goodness. Tom, Tampa Bay. Bay. Yeah, Florida. Yeah, oh, he <laughs> angry man. He, he spelled it wrong, so he got he took it down. Welcome but. to China. Thank you very much. Yes, Great Los time. Angeles. That is so cool. Wow, so many people from all over the world. That's yeah, so Tampa cool. Bay. See, he rewrote yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tampa Bay. We, we understood it. it the first time. Even. We get it, manatee. Oh, there's a long one. Hi, Chinese hi, American. Ni hao, ni hao, ni hao, ni hao. Yeah. Oh, do you speak <laughs> Chinese? Uh, yeah, um. I can get around, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't say I'm fully fluent, but. Wow, and he, actually, what's cool, how oh, New Jersey, that's the state I was born in. Nice. Uh, can you read that? You probably can't read, man. Oh, it's too quick. Yeah. No. Jakarta. Jakarta, Indonesia, isn't that cool? That's amazing. Hey, guys. Everywhere. Wow, we just started it three minutes <laughs> ago. There's already 100 people watching. Wow, 113. That's insane. Long Island, it's a really good mix. Of people from everywhere. Long Island, New York. Live I stream watch every day. Oh, that and is why. so that cool. That feels good, huh? It feels great <laughs> because then I don't feel like I'm all alone making a little video. I feel like, and what's cool too is I'm able to like. Sometimes I have a question and I don't know the answer, and then Las Vegas, hello, <laughs> and then I ask these guys and they, they give, do, do, give do, do, me do. the answer and they all have computers so they can look stuff up for me. It's just <laughs> you have your whole like a whole little crowd. Oh, I just of I just love it. They're they're my internet friends. They're my live stream friends. That's Australia. Great. Now I don't know. You probably knew this, but Australia is, has three time zones and it's about three or four hours later. So what time is it here? Do you know? Uh, it's like nine. It's 9:30, like nine something. something. Like so it'd be like uh, noon like or nice. one in in uh, Australia. 
Australia. Niemann Hama. <laughs> oh, you can read that? Yeah, See, simple stuff like that. It's okay. I think I'm the only American in the world that can't read Chinese. I'm, I highly doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Singapore. Have you ever been to Singapore? I haven't, but it's high up on my bucket list. It's uh, my three favorite. Singapore is fantastic. And all the people, I mean, they speak English, to be honest, so it's really cool for me. But my favorite three countries are Kenya, Singapore, well, the weather in these countries are my favorite. Uh, Kenya, Singapore, and uh, Guatemala. Okay. And then I looked it up. They're all on the equator. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. You so, like it warm. <laughs> I like it warm, yeah. Dan, do you have plans for a music tour in China? I don't. And I, we, were, we were talking about this last night. I don't, I'm too old. I don't want to put together a band and get their own. But I would do like a you know a 12 city tour or something like that. Right. Oh, just a small 12. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, that's a couple of weeks, so. Yeah. But I wouldn't do the, you know, long grinding tour. I'm just, I don't know. So I saw a question just now that asked how many questions, uh, how many countries have you been to? I was interested in that with like, have you I'm going to say, I really think about 35. Wow. So I wow. used to be able to name them. I mean, I don't want to take up too much of our precious time. I could probably name them all. But uh, maybe I'll do that sometime. Madrid. Oh, we have oh, a, a fellow European. Spain. That is so cool. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, man. So usually at the beginning, I just kind of say hi to everybody. Where is the lovely girl? I don't know. Where there are many, there are, there are many oh. lovely girls here. It could be my wife. Yeah, it could it be is. Ari. It could be my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> we have many lovely girls here. We really do. Oh, it disappeared. What do what they kind of mean in the beginning? Uh, your uh, daughter coming somewhere something okay i didn't get i didn't see the I last think, part it disappeared oh, and megan too megan just megan well, that, could, that could also be the lovely girl they're talking about she was featured megan, in your just live come stream say hi real ago. quick just come say hi okay come on just come just like, say hi just, uh -huh. for a little, just say hi <laughs> We're so, up to 200 people, European and American We're up to like our necks and pretty girls. Why not? Aren't we? <laughs> yeah, my yeah, wife, yeah. Is, she might pop in. Oh, we yeah, got could like, be your wife too, yeah. We got so many pretty girls. Okay, Megan, <laughs> just come say, you know, I'm, I'm going to interview her probably in a few days, four days, but I just want her to say hi because this is our last day at the hotel. And Megan, did you like it here at the hotel? Yes. Very much. And it, uh, these people love you that are watching. Nice. So now I have nice. to use this because whenever she's on the, the thumbnail, I get like twice as many views. <laughs> Megan, Megan, <laughs> Megan. So hi. So thank you, Megan. <laughs> love you. We'll see you later. Jay and Ari are super busy today because the wedding is tomorrow. So uh, <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, they're how all much over. They have. Yeah. There was someone who had a very long question just a moment ago. Uh, it it kind of disappeared in a sea of. Of, well, it says, is the audio on? I don't know. Can you hear us? Can can someone, they must be able to hear us. Yeah, unless everyone remembers that that is Megan. Uh, it seems like a lot of people are talking about Which talking about hotel? Megan. I don't know the name of it. Yeah, me neither. I don't remember. <laughs> we just arrived yesterday. <laughs> so they arrived la last night, and then they're going to come. We're going to the wedding hotel tonight, and I don't know the name of that either. Yeah. And I don't even think I'm allowed to tell you guys. <laughs> but, uh... Um, so we're going to go there, and so, well, I'll see these guys. You're going to be there at least two nights, right? Yep. So yep. we're hanging out. They're going to be in the, at the wedding, and there's going to be a live stream tomorrow on on one of the Chinese platforms, so that's going to be cool. Yeah. Uh, I really, really appreciate you accept your fans. Interestingly, listen to oh. Our parents do not accept our relationship because they're biased. Any advice? We're both in our 30s. Uh, yeah. I think just love your parents. Um, if they're biased, just love them because eventually parents that kind of disapprove of their kids, if their kids are, are honest and loving, eventually, I think eventually people come around I and a part so. of it's education, right. you know, and as when they learn to trust your biracial spouse, yeah. I mean, it's just skin color. It probably, yeah, it probably also depends a lot on what kind of interracial couple we're talking about because is it just a race thing like it's literally just a color yeah. or is it a cultural thing because right. then there are, then there are also things that you know might be important to one side uh that is difficult to understand for the other side in in terms of you know uh in china it's very important for the parents to approve and yeah. and the parents to meet and there are certain uh things that are expected of 
the families and there are a lot of it can be a little bit difficult to find your way around so you gotta you gotta um i guess learn a little bit yeah about education. it and and even some things that you might think are uh, silly or unnecessary if it's very important to the other side make sure you just honor those things but other than that i mean you can't really do much other than just show that you guys really love each other yeah and if the parents really love their child they should want what is best for their yes. child but fortunately for me i never had those issues in my relationship because right. my parents are very understanding and my parents-in-law are very understanding although in the beginning they were like uh, this is a little sketch yeah. it's a little scary yeah. but they never disapproved and as soon as i showed yeah. them that i was serious and I was a good guy, and we were happy together, then yeah. it was totally no issue. Yeah, I, I honestly, I agree with you that I think it's more cultural than it is racial, because when I first toured Europe, uh, when I was in Holland, for example, everyone was white, I mean, not everyone, but the majority of the people were white. Right. But I, and then I, there was a drummer over there, and he was black, he was African American. I had more in common with the black man than I did with the white man yeah, in, yeah. in Europe. Because and that's a cultural thing, right? It's a culture. It's not skin color. Yeah. So I, uh, I think you, if you guys just honor your parents and be kind and understand that new things sometimes take certain people a little bit longer, yeah, I yeah. think I think they'll turn around. But yeah. then again, I'm an optimist. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Evan, how long have you been in China? This time around. By the way, this is going to be an easy interview because I, <laughs> I have some questions, but I might not even have to use them. They're giving me the questions, so, so I'll, nice questions. I'll act like the good interview. Evan, how long have you been in China? Uh, so this time, my wife and I and our kids, we live in Denmark from day to day, and our channel, uh, you know, shows our Evan life. and Bing Bing. Yeah, Beoling Bing Bing, Evan and Bing Bing. Thank you. Shameless plug. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, we show our life in Denmark, but this time around, we have been here for almost three months and things have, time has just flown by. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, but I have lived in China for uh, a couple of times. I was yeah. here for a year in Shanghai. I was here for half a year in Guangzhou and I was here for half a year in uh, a small uh, town in Guangdong province. And were you a student each one of those times? I was a teacher, then I was a student and then I was living with my lovely girlfriend now wife okay <laughs> <laughs> so i can't stay away <laughs> china is china is amazing i i really love it i think now that i've been here i can't imagine that i wouldn't come back yeah i'm almost sure that i will come back yeah especially i mean i've i've i've, I've been to the states a little bit but yeah. you always know a lot more about it but for someone from denmark the entire country you can go from one end to the other yeah. in five hours that is the longest path you can po possibly take yeah five hours so really, if you live your entire life there, you've kind of seen everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but here, there's just always, always something that you can do, something cool, yes. something new. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Let it's me incredible. ask you this. What do you, because, okay, I'm from a small town, a thousand people in a small state called North Dakota. Population of the whole state is about the population of this just this small Ningua. yeah 400,000 yeah. it's like <laughs> That's um, wild. but so I really like the peacefulness and the, the kind of slower pace of yeah. small town America and I also really like the small towns in China yeah. what do you prefer do you prefer cities or do you prefer because Ari prefers cities right so I know it's not one's better than the other what do no. you prefer um, I think if I had to choose one if I had to choose one I would choose uh, a place like this. Really? But I, I think is it's that kinda... because you have children? Uh, no, I've, I've always been like this. Oh, really? Uh, Even when you were in your twenties, you yeah. would okay. Yeah, when I when I went on exchange, I went on exchange twice: once to America, once to China. Oh, and, you, know, okay. you can choose all the big, greatest universities yeah. and all that in the big cities. But I was like, mm, I don't really, I don't want to go to the huge places i want to go somewhere right. where the weather is nice and you can get out and you can see like greenery you can go hiking right and, uh, mountaineering fishing that kind of stuff well in my 20s i did prefer the city right because i came from a small town so i wanted to leave the, and there was no jobs there so we had to yeah. leave it to the big city of minneapolis yeah. i don't know if you ever heard of prince but prince has kind of yeah. made minneapolis famous and i was right. the i was the white artist from minneapolis 
Oh my word, this is gonna be so cool. Oh my, Special more guests. beautiful women. Come, come on back here. Okay, okay, all right, you have a nice hand. Oh my, look at beautiful women. I'm on Kui Kan. Yeah, yes, I can read. I can read Chinese a little bit, at least. Thank you. Wow, if she can read all. She can read all the way. Wow. I'm sorry, you have to bend down. You want to sit a little bit? That's probably. I go back to eat. Oh, okay. Nice to see you. Okay. Thank you so much. This is so fun. Wow, this is the party. <laughs> So this is our last day for everyone at the hotel. It's so great. We've had Megan, Ross, your wife, your daughter. Me. Jay and Sean Jay. Gofu. We've had everyone except for Ari, but don't expect Thank Ari. Thank you, Jensen. Yeah, yeah. She's, Ari, uh, she takes a while to, you know, get ready. Well, she's busy. She has her, what, her wedding tomorrow. She's it's, taking care of yeah. Sean Gofu. It's... I, yeah. I went... Have you ever been to a Chinese wedding? A traditional Chinese wedding? Um, I've been to Chinese weddings... I think this is a Tang, Tang, Tang Dynasty, Tang Dynasty style wedding. wedding. I've never been to one of those. No, I have been to, to Chinese weddings. The before. rehearsal was four hours. It's like a play. It was like putting oh. on a play. And when Ari was little, you know, she did like plays and she was in the theater. Thank it you, was the amazing. What did they say? I, I just saw a quick comment from someone saying, I don't know how to What does that mean? It means Evan's very handsome, so thank you. <laughs> My eye just caught my the corner of my eye <laughs> among all the other But But, uh, oh, that's another trick that I'm learning, and, and um, Lynette reminds me. It's better. Now, they can read it. These people live can read the live comments. But later when people watch it, and, and more people actually see it after it's right. done being live, but they can't read the comments live. So right, right, I'm right. trying to learn when you see a comment, read the comment right. because... I, I'm still yeah. learning, but yeah. I always just answer the comment, and then yeah. people later don't even know what I'm talking yeah. about. I mean, and it's it's difficult, right? Because we only get to see it for a couple yes. seconds, and then it's then it's gone, and you can't yes. really just you know we can't really. I'm gonna assume that this one says handsome, but yeah. doesn't say who. That, that must so be you. Then that's what I'm thinking. I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Let, let's share it then. <laughs> oh, okay. Here's another thing. We're about the same height. Oh yeah. And. Uh, and, and we, I learned something new from Ross like yesterday, and that because he's the same height as us, he might yeah. be taller. I'm not sure. Yeah. But I, we we asked each other, okay, tall guy question. Do you slouch when you sit in a chair? And I do all the time. I fidget oh, yeah. around. I am never comfortable in a chair. Yeah. And I'm a fan of both you guys. Isn't that cool? Thank you. Um, Thanks, James. It, and it turns out that. <laughs> the human body in a sitting position is designed for the knees to be below, is it, was it your butt or your, your hips, I think. Yeah, I don't or know. Or something like that. Pelvis, I'm not sure. But for tall people, chairs in America uh, are made for pe the average height of about 5'6", between 5'6 and 5'7". Well, if you're 6'4", 6 6'5", six or 6'6", six six, your knees are always above your waist. Right, and, and it gets after a while it gets uncomfortable. So we start moving around, and it was I thought it was just me. My family used to make fun of me, Dad. You're always Same. just trying to get comfortable. It's like, Same. I, and so now I finally have a scientific reason, and yeah. I feel justified. It's yeah. like, hey, you guys, yeah, <laughs> it's a medical condition. Being I, can't, tall. <laughs> I can't remember <laughs> the amount of times, both at home and in school, where I've been told, you know, sit up straight. It's not good for your back. And like. How does how does everyone do this all day? It's it so hurt. uncomfortable. But it's then so Ross did an experiment. He put like about five or six cushions on a chair, and I sat down and I was like, Hi. I can sit up straight and it didn't hurt. Not bad, not bad. So I I'm gonna make some lifestyle changes. I think I'm gonna get some taller chairs. Yeah, yeah. And see what happens. And you know what's good about that too? What? You can get them all by yourself because they will be super uncomfortable for anyone yeah. else to no sit in them. No one else will sit in them. Right? No one else will be able so to climb up into it. There'll always be a chair for you. I saw a question real quick. Uh, someone asking, apart from vegetarian foods here in China, what have been your favorites? Uh, I I still love, and maybe it's the American in me, the bao bao. 
Balsa? The, the, is it balsa? It's kind of like a, a deep fried breading on the outside and, and sometimes meats or vegetables or, or pork. Sounds like a real damn wah. It may be. I don't know, but that's kind of like, I, I could eat that every day, but even when I had that in, at a Chinese restaurant in America, I could eat it every day. But I still, fried, I mean, uh, pork belly is still one of my favorites. I've really liked everything. What, right. What's your favorite? Yeah, someone here just haven't eaten more Chinese or Western foods. 100% Chinese foods. Both, that goes both in Denmark and here. Yeah. I've, I've gained six kilos, that's 12 pounds, <laughs> in two and a half months here because everything is too delicious and I can't help myself. I'm really going to have to do something about that when I get back to Denmark. Chinese food is, Chinese cuisines is so broad. Yes, it really is. And so deep and so incredibly delicious. Yeah. Uh, I really, you can eat, you can eat it every day and still don't feel like you get bored by eating yeah. the same thing because you don't eat the same thing. It's something new. Well, and something that Megan mentioned to me and we both noticed is we can eat less Chinese food and feel fuller. And I think it's healthier. Yeah, yeah, if you do that, I eat, I eat more, even when I'm not hungry, so that's probably not healthy. Well, he, but it's too delicious. <laughs> he took like six kilos, because I lost six kilos so far. Wow, wow, really? Yeah, and I'm, and I, what I'm doing, because there's sometimes, you know, usually there's about 12 dishes or more. I, don't, I think the least amount of dishes I've seen is maybe eight or something, but yeah. I taste, I eat some of everything, yes, and yes. I get full. New Zealand? Yeah. Hey, New Zealand! That's that's very cool. <laughs> that's where they shot, what was that movie? Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, yeah. Also, a place on my bucket list. It's really There's cool. so many, so many... I've been there. You have? Oh, yeah. Wow. It is so cool. It's the first time where I saw hot springs. Right. And it's like steaming hot water. I mean, wow. you would scald, you, you'd burn if yeah. you'd die. And I, I was in an area called Rota, Rota I think. And, um... Actually, I was at a mu music festival near there, Hong Kong. Hey, Kevin. Uh, Malaysia. Wow. And, and the it, the they would people's living rooms would all of a sudden open up, and there was hot steam coming out. Wow. And the house had just begun. So. Wow, that's crazy. Imagine living there. That's you got to have a, a, a oh. living for the day mentality. <laughs> I have one other uh, New Zealand story. So in America, everything is like super safe. You're strapped in, you know, every, you know, you got sign waivers, everything. Yeah. In New Zealand, I went on this, you know, I was on top of a mountain in, in Rotorua, and you take these little carts and you go down the mountain, right? I've seen videos of that. It looks so much fun. It is, but it's not America. So I put wide open, because in America, you just put it wide open to hope yeah. to get a little bit of speed. Yeah. In New Zealand, I put wide open. I flew off. I flew off. Onto, really? I flew off the track on the side of the mountain. Oh, no. That's not possible in America. Oh, I went, no. okay, this is the real deal. So when I got back, I said, okay. Oh my goodness! Oh no, that's awful. You, that could have been really serious. New York, I know. I, I just thought, okay, here we go. <laughs> Wide open. No, it's real deal. You have to actually gauge how fast you're going. That's New fun. York just said hi. Yeah, I said there are a lot of Malaysia. People. That Constantly is so cool. I've been to Malaysia. Have you? Yes. Where yeah. You've been to one country I haven't been though. Yeah. Denmark. Denmark. <laughs> Denmark. Probably a couple of European places. I figure maybe. Maybe. Have you been all over Europe, everywhere? Spain, France, Switzerland, Germany, the Netherlands, uh, right. Wales, England. Is that called considered Europe anywhere? Yeah, Europe, not EU, but yeah, Europe. I guess. Uh, so, but not Denmark. Oh, and I've yes, also been to Norway and Sweden, but not right. Denmark. But not Denmark. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you've been, you've definitely been to Denmark. most European countries. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. At least in the southern and western parts. Oh well, northern Norway and Sweden is north. Singapore. What did, what did they say? Just, just good morning and hello. How is Denmark? Yeah, how is Denmark? How is Denmark? Denmark is small, quaint, What's clean. the population? Five and a half million. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Is that why <laughs> you're such a nice guy? Is everyone nice, as nice as you in Denmark? Uh, <laughs> oh, you're putting me on the spot here, <laughs> No, Dan. I can't. No, I, I'm, I'm going to sound either incredibly full of myself or... <laughs> I've already said there's jerks in every country and yeah. there's great people yeah. in every country, so... Yeah, it's... Uh, and it's usually 
better than worse. But it's definitely, um, it's definitely different from both China and America because people are. Uh, I hear a lot of, of foreigners say they have a difficult time making friends in Denmark because there's a like. It's not like, oh, hey, how are you doing? You just start talking to yeah. to someone you don't really know, which at least was my experience in in America. It's yeah. very easy to talk yes. to talk to people just standing next to them in line or whatever. If you're not in a big city, kind of if you're in a big city, right. uh, to me, every international huge city is kind of like, right. hey, well, why are you talking to me? Okay, I, I feel like that. As a, maybe that's just because I'm a, a Dane, but even in the big cities, I felt like, oh, everyone's just like oh. so into talking. Oh yeah, maybe. Uh, which is which is nice. It makes it really uh, easy to make friends or at least yeah. uh, you know get to know some, right. some local people. In Denmark, that's pretty difficult. And I, I had uh, like um, some international friends ask me how, how, like, how did you make your Danish friends? How do Danish friends make friends? I'm like, how do I know my yeah, friends? How do, you know how do friends? I know my friends? From, I don't know. <laughs> in America, it's usually from school. Yeah, yeah, and that that's, that's, that is that is where I have most of my friends from. Uh, I think I I can remember one. I have one good friend that I met like organically, yeah. just out in the open on a fishing trip. But other than that, it's like. Yeah, it's like knowing someone who already knows someone, or through yeah, school. Referral, yeah, referral. Yeah, that's super difficult if you're, you know, if you just come, if you come from the outside and move to the yeah. country. So yeah, it's it's uh, usually Danish people are super nice if you if you you know right. get close to them. But it kind of there's a little bit a bit of a barrier that you need to break through. Well, what I was gonna say, oh wow, even I have to, is that? Oh okay, I thought that was someone else. But uh, I was gonna say the, the exception to the rule on the big cities are all the same, like New York and London, and <laughs> and to, uh, is that in China, like Sing or Singapore and Hangzhou are huge. Yeah, everyone seemed just as f normal and friendly yeah. as they do kind of in a small town in America. Yeah. And that's that's what I was gonna say, and that is one of the, if not the, thing that I appreciate the most about China. I have almost never encountered someone who was just like mean right. or like seemed made me feel unwelcome. Right. Either people, you know, just ignore and right. that's totally and fine. That's totally know. fine. They have their own lives to live. Yeah, yeah. no problem. Yeah. But a lot of people will come over and just be interested just yeah. to 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 talk to you. Just, yeah. you know, um, talk about nothing in particular. Like, what's your country like? What what are you doing? What do you like? And it doesn't have to be like a big thing. You're just excited to come over and, and see who you are. And that feels, that makes you feel, at least for me, that makes me feel so welcome and safe and, uh, and happy to be here. So that's yeah. one of my absolute favorite things about China is even more in a small city, but even in Shanghai and Guangzhou, yeah. the big cities, people are just so nice. Yeah, Chinese they really are. are. Awesome. And um, one of the reasons that I started watching their channel, I'd say about three years ago, I guess when I met Jay, I wanted to learn more about his home country. And so they were one, they were one of the channels that was a, a, a Westerner and the Chinese that married. But the main reason, and there's, there may be a lot of those, but the main reason was because you guys spoke English a right. lot when you spoke together. Right. And so that was like, oh, okay, I can understand that. Right. Even though you have, your wife speaks obviously Mandarin, so do you. You had enough English where I could watch right. and understand what was going on. Yeah, we we do a we do a good mix, especially when my parents are there, because I mean they obviously don't speak. Uh, oh, that's Mandarin. true. So then they, that's so, what it was like when yeah. the parents would come over, and dad and mom would come over for dinner, and Bing Bing would make an incredible meal, and <laughs> hey, and. Uh, <laughs> And then, then w when their parents were there, they would all speak English. So I was like, "Hey, I understand." Oh, Borneo, that's another place I'd love to. Okay, visit. is that a real country? It's part of uh, Malaysia and or Indonesia. Sorry for my uh, yeah. So Indonesia, no, sorry, Malaysia. Hello from Sarawak, Borneo, Malaysia. Okay, because I was always wondering. I thought Borneo, but I, I can find it on the map. But I just yeah. didn't know if it was its own country or how that yeah, works. No, I thought I wasn't sure if it was part of Malaysia or Indonesia. Good morning, Montreal, Canada. And then the previous question was: Is Jane Ari's wedding tomorrow? Yes, yes their wedding is. is tomorrow. So at at noon today, it's probably around nine thirty or something here. Yeah. So in a couple hours, we're gonna go over to the hotel and we're gonna spend, and that's where we'll spend the night. And then in the morning will be the wedding. And I think the wedding stuff starts at like nine. I think the official wedding, so I think, 
and they're doing a live stream too, which I think is so cool. Yeah. And after seeing the wedding at the rehearsal, even when Jay walked down the aisle, I don't want to talk about because I was I got emotional. Yeah. Because I know how how, <clears throat> how special it is to him. But let's stop talking. We'll about do that. it. Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> but anyway, so I think some of the I think maybe the live stream starts at nine. I don't know. I think the actual wedding starts at ten fifty eight. 1058. So. Oh, okay, it has to be an eight, of course, of course. Of does, course does, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is that right? That's I'm sure right. that's why. I'm sure that's why. Okay, so I didn't cool. think of that. But anyway, <laughs> the first thing that's going to happen at 1058 is me and uh, um, Jay's dad get to do the drums. Oh, that's so cool. Is to open really? the ceremony. Wow. And then I don't have to do anything else <laughs> until after the ceremony. Then I go around and I guess I say hi to everybody. So. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's so many comments. It's just, it's really difficult yeah. to... Uh... Well, you know what I do, and that's, so always leave your comments, because I go back, and when I have time, I, I watch the whole thing, because there are so many that I miss, Yeah. and I really like to keep up to what they're saying. Because I've actually learned something, like one of you guys, I don't know if you're on right now, but one of the guys said, Dan, Dan you should, because I was telling him, yeah, I want to lose a little bit of weight. He said, he's try intermittent, intermittent fasting, and I go, I don't know, I'm not really you know, gonna go on any diet. He goes, no, all it is is just only eat during eight hours a day. Yeah. So I've been doing that now. So I learned something from my <laughs> from my uh, live stream friends. That's so cool. And yeah, it's really, That's it's so cool. it's. I love the interaction. So I go back and read. In fact, I probably didn't even see his comment live, but right. I, I read it when I went back. Right, 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 right. right. Um, and that's important for me. Where's the wedding? It's, yeah, it'll be it's, in- It's in Ningua. Yeah, yeah, that's Jay's hometown and his, and, and it, she hasn't been on the video, but his both his grandmas are coming. One of his his father's mom lives maybe an, an hour or two away, and then his mom's mom lives here. So, but all anyone that you've seen on Jade Ari's videos in China pretty much is going to be there. Doctor Leo is going to be there. That was kind of Jay's mentor, and he was his college right. professor. But he he would sleep at his house and hang out, wow. and because okay, okay, Jay's okay. dad died, and then he kind of oh, became a father figure and okay, mentor. And okay. oh, they, wow. he's just okay. he's the, actually the most interesting man I've ever met in my really? life. Yeah, wow. He's one of those guys. Yeah, I saw I saw he was in a video, uh, but yeah. I didn't know that whole story about him. Yeah, it's it's every time I'm with him is like. And we, we get along great. And and you and I, when we first met, it was like we were instant friends. Uh, that's so nice. <laughs> that's so nice. I saw someone ask which platform uh, their wedding is going to be live streamed through. Do you I know? Think it's Ning, I think it's Ningua because they do the live streams, I think. Right. I, don't, I don't know. Do, uh, is it, do you know if it's N -I -N -G -O -U. on their Billy Billy channel? I don't think it's Billy Billy, but it might be. Right. I, so don't quote me. And they know a lot of times I'm just guessing things. <laughs> and it's like, the, one of the things we've been doing the last 12 days is I try to tell them the schedule for the day, but <laughs> it changes hourly. Have you even experienced that yet with me and with Jane Ari that oh, the yeah. schedule changes oh, constantly? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, but that's also, that's a, that's a, that's one of those cultural things that you have to um, learn to live with slash learn to love. Yeah. That so is, is it very a different. Chinese thing? It's. I think it's very much a Chinese thing because okay. my wife does the exact same thing. Okay. Where in in Denmark, you very much uh, try to make a plan and then stick to the plan, yes. so everyone knows. And, what's and going here's on. the now, like if someone says, "Okay, come to my house at ten o'clock." Yeah. Do they show up at eleven or do they usually come at ten? Oh, in Denmark, oh, then you come at ten or or plus minus five minutes. Uh, not, <laughs> is that true in China? Uh, no, it's. <laughs> I, I don't. I won't. I can't speak for all of China, but it's That's not true, true for my my your wife. wife in it's China. It's not true no. for my son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, yeah. So, but that's just something you have to, you know, get yeah. used to and get comfortable with because... Uh, like he said it's do. not a Chinese thing, so I okay. think it's a year wife. It may it, maybe it's maybe an Anhu it's, province because his wife is up yeah. from the same province. Yeah, maybe here. it's an Anhui thing. Or yeah. it could be like a, a, I guess, like living abroad, coming back to, to China because there's obviously a lot of things yes. you want to do while you're here. Yes. Uh, so it's, you know, right. And let, let me ask, let me be a professional interviewer guy and say, <laughs> have you been to any, because someone asked about the, if, if you've been to the Great Wall, have you been to any tourist attractions in China? Or have you just been stuck around here with family and friends? You know, the first time I was in China, uh, I was in Beijing for a month. Okay. Or a month and a half. 
And then I was in Guangdong province for the remainder of my okay. time there, uh, like five months. And in Beijing, it was like, it was part of like a teaching course thing. And many people were in China for the first time and they knew that. So there were, you know, things had been arranged to go to all these big sites, yeah. Tiananmen Square, yeah. uh, the Forbidden City, the Great Wall. And <clears throat> we went to the Great Wall. Yeah. It is the foggiest day I can remember ever having seen. So I could see about about maybe maybe like 20 feet of the wall. <laughs> it, le it seemed very much like a wall, but it did not seem very long when it I was there. because I, I could not see very far, which was a shame. And while I was there, this was in 20, uh, 2007, the Forbidden City was undergoing construction. So I was like, uh, no, oh. I think I'll come back to China, to, to Beijing later. Mm -hmm. I'll see it. I'll see it in all of its glory. And then when I was supposed to come back, there was a yeah. blizzard, which meant that I couldn't catch my flight back to Beijing. So I ended up not coming back. <laughs> so I haven't actually seen the Forbidden City or the Great Wall in in all of its glory as it as it uh, uh, as you should. So I've seen the Shanghai sites. I yeah. think Yu Yuan yeah. Gardens, the Bund, absolutely amazing. The yeah. Bund. Oh yeah, we Shanghai went there Skyline. together. Yeah, we I, did. That was fun. After we ate and I got my nails done yeah. with I was me and Bing Bing went and got See, our nails done. It's finished now. Yeah, it's just, it's it been lasted taken about off. five days. Right, right. right and then right, I chipped right. the nail, but, and then, oh, so no. I took it off. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, but, there are definitely so many more places I'd like to I'd like to go and see in China. Just here in Anhui, the uh, Huangshan, the Yellow Mountain. Have you I, been there? I haven't, but I would love to. I hear people say if you if you if you want to see if you could only see one mountain in China, yeah. you should choose Huangshan. Yeah, that's the Yellow Mountain. The Yellow Mountain. And I yes. guess it's really close to here, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, it would be cool to take a, a day trip there, but. Yeah. Um, I'm, we're not, neither of us are in charge of our own schedules, is oh, no. my guess. Yeah. So during this trip, then you mostly stayed here in the Anhui province? Um, we mostly stayed in Shanghai. Oh, okay. Yeah. We oh, that, yeah, that's where we saw you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's where my, and most Bing of my wife went to school there too, didn't she? Uh, she went to school in Anhui because uh, she worked and lived in Shanghai oh, she worked for, there. Oh. for many years. Oh, she had some great jobs there. <laughs> she was like uh, media, I mean, uh, Public relations stuff. Yeah, she worked for a car company. She worked for a gaming company. She worked. Yeah. Hi, Evan. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that was interesting. She worked yeah. for a gaming company. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she had a lot of interesting, interesting, uh, interesting jobs. And oh, she also gosh. had some jobs uh, in Denmark, but it's you know it's difficult to juggle everything when you yeah. have kids and a channel think, and yeah. jobs and. I think when you have kids, like. Because Ari still, they would kind of work together. She would help him with editing and stuff and, right. and in English translation. But now that she's a mother, yeah. she still helps sometimes, but not as much. Yeah. So when you're a mother, that kind of changes your whole life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A parent in general, I think it's, you know, you got to get used to the new sleep schedule and everything is being planned around the kids. And yes. sometimes plans just can't happen because yeah. of the kids. I saw someone ask why my parents aren't here. Uh, my parents aren't retired yet. So uh, they, they didn't, we talked about it, if they had the opportunity to come to China yeah. as well, but they, could, they couldn't make it happen with the, uh, with the amount of vacation days, but they would love to. And uh, it is definitely in, in our future plans. Uh, what, is, what is your job in Denmark? I, uh, I have a full-time job. Uh, I work with uh, information and cybersecurity. We call that IT in America. Yeah, but it's not the technical side of IT. It's more like the security, cyber security. Yeah, yeah, it's the it's the yeah information security. Make sure people know what they're supposed to be doing, not supposed to be doing. So and you walk around and threaten people because oh, yeah. you're so big. That's why they the hired them. All the time. Like, hmm. Yeah, yeah, yep, exactly. <laughs> I'm an enforcer, in fact. Oh <laughs> um, no, it's very. It's all. And then great. she, uh, Jane Ari, still. I shot off for for two hours. So they yeah. have not, for eight months, they had not had a full night's sleep. Yep. Isn't That's, that crazy? Yep. I remember my, my body when we first had uh, my daughter, because she woke up every hour for like half, an hour, uh, half a year. At the beginning, I was like, my body was like, this is how we die. Like, you, you <laughs> yes. cannot do this. You cannot wake up every hour. It's not okay. I won't be part of yeah. it. And then would you have to, you just have to do it. 
Yeah. And uh, eventually your body is like, well, okay, I, he's not listening. So I guess we'll just uh, kick it in, kick it into gear. And this is just how we live now. <laughs> it, it's, uh, you feel a little <laughs> bit like a zombie. It, for me, it's been, since I had my last baby, I guess some of them know May May, my youngest daughter. I think she's 20 or 21 now. So it's been 20 years. So I've forgotten it. And to be honest, the, the whole time that we had children, my wife didn't work at all. So she would, you know, usually yeah. kind of let me sleep because she knew I had yeah. to go, get up early and go to work. Right. Um, so it wasn't as bad for me. But the times that I had to do get up every every so often, I was like a zombie. Yeah. You know, you're just kind of walking around. Oh, do I? is it time to go eat? Okay, yeah. is it time to go over there? Yeah. But maybe it's because you guys are young. You know, because, you know, you're, we were in our, I guess, early 30s when we had our first child. And uh, um, I don't, I just don't remember it, Yeah, thankfully. Yeah, well, that's good to hear. That gives me a lot of hope yeah, for the future. You, it, Thank you, you grow so out of it, but I'm <laughs> yes. actually impressed by how Jay and I are. I mean, every time I see them, they're like ready to go. Yeah. And I just, yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah. Which city do you like the most in China? And this is a question from Tim, uh, Timmy. Or two moon. Yeah, if quite, sorry, if because we only see half the messages because it's just like yeah, they Ross, only stay on for a couple seconds. Ross, he was here and helped me set up, but he's gone right now. And he said yesterday he felt a little bit tired. Right. But so far, oh hi Marty. Um, maybe maybe my best friend Marty is watching. But hey, that's nice. Oh Dan, yeah, there, see my this is so cool. <laughs> my uh, live stream friends are saying they're letting me know. Hey, your friend is here. So because oh, obviously cute. we're not, we're aren't looking the whole time at the screen. But hey, Marty. <laughs> hey, all my friends that told me Marty was here. <laughs> OK, so which city do I like the most? It's really difficult because there are so many great places, yeah. great for different reasons. They're different. Yeah. So a couple weeks ago, uh, two or three weeks ago, I went to Xiamen for the first for the first time. And I really like, I really like Xiamen. Xiamen now, where, is, uh, is that north or south from Shanghai? The, it's the east, it's oh. south of Shanghai, but still on the east coast. Okay. It's kind of like, a, it's one of the, if not the place that's the closest to, to Taiwan. Okay, uh, okay. It's, it's, um, now, it's do, a coastal city and they do a lot of seafood. Do they have beaches <clears throat> oh, yeah. in China? I haven't seen any beaches. Beaches, especially down south, there's an island called uh, Hainan. Yeah, Hainan I've heard about that. Heard about it. it's, it's like Hawaii's unknown younger Warm sister. Warm weather person would love oh, to yeah. go there, but I just oh, don't yeah. think we're going to have time on oh, this yeah. trip. No, yeah. no, but it's 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 amazing. I've been there once and it's uh, it's very beautiful. Because Shanghai is a coastal city, but I never saw the ocean when I was there. So no. did you, could, did, have you seen the ocean since you've been in China? Yeah, in uh, in Salman, oh, in you Salman did. Okay. they have like uh, sandy beaches and stuff like that. Oh, did you go to the uh, beach at all? No. Or it was still a little yeah, bit chilly because they uh, came, I think, in February, right? Yeah. But it, it, this was just a couple weeks ago, <coughs> so it wasn't chilly. It was very warm, okay. actually. But especially when you had the little kids and stuff like that, oh, you, yeah. they can easily get scolded. So we didn't uh, we didn't really want to, you know, go lie on the beach. We had so many things to do. Uh, yeah. When when we were there. But and someone said there's a lot of beaches in China. I was just curious because in Holland, for example, when I said we want to go to the beach and they do actually have some sand beaches. Yeah. But um, when well, we went to the beach, there was no sand. It was yeah. just. Yeah. Because Holland is Holland's so special, right? Because it's kind of it's I think it's on average below sea level. So they I have a lot think of dams it's like and stuff 30 like percent or something, if I remember correctly. Right. Yeah. OK. Yeah. So a lot but of yeah, they all like, have. Yeah, they have, there's dams everywhere. Yeah. In fact, that was the only country I've been to where we were driving a car on a highway. We went under a tunnel. I looked up. There was a big ship. We were going <laughs> under because they have to obviously keep because it's all gravity. So they have to keep wow. the canals wow. the same height. That's and crazy. so instead of building a bridge, it was easy for them to build. And yeah, you look yeah. up, and even when I'd go to the dams in the Netherlands, I, you know, the dam would be like it's only as wide as this, so maybe like like eight feet or ten feet wide. Yeah. And there's a monster ship go, sitting there. I'm going, how is this <laughs> dam holding up that ship? But then I realized all the pressure really is is being exerted down. Okay. I learned a lot. I yeah. learned a lot. I learned a lot in China. I learned a lot yeah. everywhere. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's really what it is, right? It's it's the world is big. It's yes. kind of a shame to always uh, stay in the same place, and um, at least if you have the opportunity to yeah. go see uh, go go see other places, because you really do learn uh, a whole lot from that. Yeah, and in certain places, <clears throat> I think you just 
you feel a certain way about, like, I, I honestly believe that China will be like one of my second homes now. Yeah. Because yeah. I just have been so well, when people welcome you and you love being there and you feel happy and excited, yeah, you remember that. Yeah, exactly. You know? I mean, and you want to go back to it. Yeah, that's why I keep coming back. Uh, you know, it, it really is comfortable. Now, obviously, I have my wife right. and, and, and children that are half Chinese, so obviously we, we have to have to come back and want to come and back. And this is for your that reason. fourth time here probably. Yeah, yeah, my fall, my fourth, yeah, long, longer, like for more than a couple months. Okay, so, so you have even, actually been here more like in just a couple of weeks or so? Yeah, 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 like as a, as a English teaching program was six months, uh, student, as a student, was also for six months. And both of those were before I even knew uh, I even knew Bing Bing. Yeah, isn't, so. that, isn't that interesting how what a small world it is? <laughs> but I think part of why you met Bing Bing is that your friend or her friend or you had a mutual friend and she lost her, what, she lost her wallet or something? Yeah, Bing Bing, so Bing Bing went to, uh, to Europe, a Euro trip on her own. Uh, and on the first day before she even reached her hotel in Rome, Italy, be careful, a lot of pickpockets, all of her stuff was stolen out of her bag before she even reached the hotel. And this was her first trip abroad, her first time being out in the big world alone. So this was obviously a terrible start. And yeah. she had to go so many places in Europe. Uh, fortunately, most of the places she had, someone she was, she, was, she was meeting, a friend or whatever, so it was okay. But in Copenhagen, where I'm from, she didn't know anyone. So she was like, uh, what can I do? I don't really want to go to another place on my own. Like, she didn't feel that safe. But fortunately, she had a friend, an old colleague, and that guy, he's German, Fabian, thank you for introducing my wife and I. Uh, so he was my old roommate from China and her old colleague. So he said, I actually have a friend in Denmark who's, uh, who's interested in China, who's been to China before and speaks some Chinese. So I'm sure he would be happy to, uh, to show you around a little bit. And wham, bam. And the rest, then the she was going to be there for six days and they met. And <clears> uh, <throat> apparently they spent all day together yeah. every day for... And he, she was there for six days, and then she spilled the beans, and she told us last night <laughs> that on day three, he asked for a kiss, yeah. and she said no. I actually, I actually didn't even ask for it, because I was like, mm, do you ask or do you just go for it? So I just went for it. But she just, yeah, it didn't, it didn't work. She, was, she had a hoodie. No, she, she just did this. <laughs> <laughs> just like retracted into that her hoodie. Such a great story. <laughs> and I was like, oh god, that's so embarrassing. Now it's gonna be super awkward. But it was okay. It was okay. But a couple days later, yeah, she yeah, said, yeah. and then I let him hold my hand. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that yeah. Was exactly. Pretty sweet. So instead of yeah, it, it's it's not like yeah, it was just too early, too quick. There you, she go. Was like, yeah, there I, you go. No, that was too much. But I I will hold your hand. I like, okay. oh, that's so you know, cool. I'll take it. I'll and take now, it. how many years later, they have two beautiful children. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and so, yeah, oh, it's, it's a great a, story. It's a fun little story. <laughs> Xijiang. Have you ever been to Xijiang? Xijiang. Xijiang. I haven't. I'm not even sure where it is, Xijiang. There are so many cool places in China. You like, know, there are, I don't even know how many cities in China have a higher population than my entire country. It's just, there's so many cities. Every, yeah, every, every city. All of them, yeah. <laughs> but there are so many places that you I've just never heard of. And it's like, oh, wow, it has like... Eight million people living there. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, I okay, this is four hundred <laughs> or four hundred fifty thousand here, and and most people and they they tell me I, I, we've never I've never heard of what was it not Ning, Ningua 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 yeah. I've never heard of it. So ah, yeah. oh, it's Tibet. I've never been to Tibet. Tibet. No, I, I haven't been much inland. I've been to uh, um, Guangxi Province. I've been to Guilin and uh, Yangzhou. Or Yangshuo, sorry. Uh, and I've been to Sichuan on this trip. Oh, okay. Uh, to, to Chengdu and uh, to Chengdu and to um, Zhangyou and to Pingwu. And I've heard of that Pingyu. It's Pingwu. a new town. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's yeah. I, I, I went to a wedding there as well. I have to ask this. Yeah, he's coming to. They're coming to the wedding tomorrow, so they're gonna live stream. So I'm sure you'll see them in the live stream. Yep. Um, do you like spicy food? Oh yeah, I love it. I love it. I love spicy food. Uh, I've actually we we went to uh, Sichuan and I was like, okay, maybe maybe this is where I'll meet my match. 
maybe it'll be too spicy but yeah. actually it was surprisingly not spicy even though we we sought it out it i don't feel like it was that spicy actually. if it's extremely spicy it's not as <laughs> enjoyable but what i yeah. do love and i haven't had it here yet for some reason i don't know why peppercorn oh, yeah. the one that makes your mouth numb yeah. very much a citron that is so cool that's such a, because yeah. i have not had it yeah um, it's, I was surprised. I was expecting to have it. I don't know why it hasn't spread, at least in Europe. Yeah. Like every time we serve it to anyone, they've just they've never had it, they've never heard of it, they don't know what it is, and it is so amazing. It tastes great and it gives it's like a whole it's like it's oh fun. I've never tasted anything sweet. Because it's like it's its it's its whole own category of thing and it just doesn't exist in the West for some reason and it's amazing. Evan, your daughter is beautiful. Oh, thank, you so much. thank you so much. She has that from her mom. <laughs> yeah, big mountains. Yeah, that's true. Pingu, like you go, they have drilled. I don't know how it's built, but there are the longest tunnels through huge mountains. That they must have just had like some mole machine. That yeah, like, they have to. I, I know. I, I, and sometimes those tunnels are in the halfway up the mountain. <clears throat> yeah. It's like, what? it's wild. You just, like how people ever got to a place like Ping before they drilled a hole through the mountain is completely beyond me. Yeah. Like, how is that possible? <laughs> okay, Evan, it is now time to have everyone, every guest on this live stream has sung a song for us. Oh gosh, okay. And so I didn't ask, and I purposely didn't tell you yesterday morning, <laughs> I said, hey, will you, or last night when we had lunch, I said, will you be on the live stream? He said, sure. Uh, so, uh, you can sing a song in Danish, or in English, or in Chinese. What would you prefer? Oh, I don't really know. You know, <laughs> I don't, I'm not a huge music guy, so I don't know that I can remember the lyrics for many songs, okay. except for nursery rhymes. Uh, Me Megan I sang, sang A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I sing those for my, for my daughter. Okay. Uh, let me see. What can I? What can I? Uh, do you guys want to hear a song he sings for his daughter? Or you choose any language. Let me see. Danish would be um, cool. And you don't have to be. I, you might be a great singer, but you don't have to be. Oh, I'm not a great singer. Okay, good. Because so, <laughs> I, if you needed help, I would just go. <laughs> if you can do better than that, you're fine. Let me see. Because I, I need. I, I want to make it one that I can actually remember all the lyrics for. I might need a little bit of assistance lyrics wise. So let me let me look up the lyrics. For what language? Are you gonna sing let me do a Danish one. I mean, that's kind of unique, right? Yeah. Okay. That's something that other people can't do. Um, we make it, it special. Yeah, Bing Bing is here. You, she was already showed up. Everyone has made their appearance except for Ari. <laughs> but we're going to have a song. Um, and then I always try to end it with a song if we have time. But it's. Uh, I'm so glad so far every single guest <clears throat> has been willing to, even though they didn't know they had to sing. <laughs> that's, the, uh, that's the premise for being on the live stream of the yes. famous artist formerly known as Dan H. Yes. <laughs> Currently known, actually I'm gonna release a new song. I, I, I'm working on a video right now. Oh cool. And it's and uh, my new artist name is gonna be uh, Loud Dofu. Cool. Very so, cool. That's such a great name. It way, really especially is. since you have Shao Dofu. I know. It's like And some people say so we funny. look alike. And he is <laughs> yeah. my little buddy. We go on adventures all the time, almost every day. Uh, wedding is I didn't read the whole thing, but the wedding is today, they're gonna live stream it. I I think we have to practice it again before the actual wedding because it was so complicated. No, I wanna keep it under an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, you ready? Here we go. I'll, the, this the, is a pretty long song, so I'll just do one. Yeah, just do one, one verse. One verse. Okay, this okay. is the the uh, debut of Evan live in China singing never in sung, Danish. Never sung this song to anyone other than uh, other than my daughter. She loves this song when she's uh, when she's falling asleep. So I would, she has like little cards that I read off of usually. Hi. We have an audience live as well. Very cute little uh, Chinese girls with very cute dresses. Okay, so this is a song about uh, an eagle who has a birthday and he's inviting all the animals of the forest. Okay. <clears throat> 
has a bit of a of a of a horse throw. <clears throat> I skoven skulle være gilde alt hos den gamle ørn, som jo så gerne ville fornøje sine børn. Og alle fugle sjunge og rører deres tunge, så snart som lærken giver sin el af næbet futteral. Så snart som lærken giver sin el af næbet futteral. Wow! Wow! Shit, yeah! Okay! Mr. 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 Wow, that was awesome! And it's a long song. It has like for each uh, for each uh, I, I animal, can't. there's like a new a new <laughs> verse. I it's have to song. tell you the truth. That uh -huh. sounded so powerful. It sounded like almost a Viking song. Yeah. It sounded like it's not a bedtime song. <laughs> yeah, but and it, it, you can use it. My daughter really likes it for a bedtime story. Okay, you can okay. use it as a birthday as a story. Song. That, okay. Yeah, it's like many people use the melody for yeah. like a birthday song or like to, to make their own lyrics on yeah. top of it. It's a big thing in Denmark. I don't know if you do this many places, but you know how for events, people often do uh, like speeches and whatever. Yeah. They would do that in Denmark too. But a big thing is also people making songs. They oh, make their own songs. Really? So they take the they take the melody from some known song that people will know, and then they make their own lyrics about the person who's having okay. a party, and then everyone sings it together. Okay. Well, yeah. then I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna <laughs> write a new song. <clears throat> yeah, and feel free to use these lyrics. It's a it's a. It's yeah. A, then, these, uh, then Bing Bing, come to my place. I'd like to see you knowing your face. Evan and Bing Bing, come to my house. We'll cruise around. And I don't, nothing rhymes with house. <laughs> and shit, and wear a nice blouse. Hey, <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Hey, thank beautiful. you so much for joining. This thank has you been so fun. Much. I hope you guys want to, so go check out his channel, uh, Evan, or Bing Bing and Evan. And also, you need to start doing some live streams. Did Dennis, you have fun? Dennis told me a lot about it and it was a lot of fun. I'm not sure I would have as many comments and people, but you know, you can build it up uh, over time. It's, it's all good. I had, If I have 10 or 20, I feel happy because someone's yeah. talking to me. So thank you so much. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. You make all the difference. Yes, have absolutely. a great day. And I might not be able to do a live stream tomorrow because of the wedding, but if I can, I will. But love you guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you, Evan. <laughs>